Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope everyone's doing great. And today Rancho and I are going bike touring and we want to bring you along. So if you're interested in seeing what it looks like when we go bike touring, how Rancho behaves around the bike and how much he enjoys the sport, also how he behaves afterwards, uh, stick around and we'll show you all of that. And throughout this video, I'll be sharing five bike touring tips so that if you want to try bike touring as well, it's a pleasant experience for both you and your dog. Many people still don't know what bike touring is. It's just one of the greatest spores that you can do with your Belgian Shepherd or any other energetic dog breed. It's basically cross-country cycling with your dog. And it's the fastest of all the mushing sports. What you need to start is a bike, a good pulling harness, a bungee leash. And to make it all easier, I also recommend getting a bike antenna because it prevents the leash from getting tangled in the front wheel. And all will be linked below in the description of this video. We actually got a new antenna from Nonstop a few months ago since our old one was broken. And this time we wanted to try out a detachable one that comes with a click fix adapter that you can easily detach just with a click when you want to go cycling without your dog. And my husband was kind enough to remove the old one that we had broken and he installed the new one on my bike and I've been using it ever since. So a big thank you to Nonstop Dogwear for sending this antenna to us. We really appreciate it. But now let's go bike touring. And my tip number one is to always start with a warm up. You know, it may be a quick walk. I usually walk next to the bike for a few minutes. Rancho has time to do his business and only then do I sit on the bike and go slowly so that Rancho is just trotting. And then I gradually start going faster. And only then do I hitch him up and he starts pulling. Don't forget that bike touring is a very physically demanding activity. And if you don't want your dog to get injured, a warm up is a must, as well as a cool down. Okay, tip number two. So, as I said, bike touring is very physically demanding for the dog. Bike touring races are usually between four to eight kilometers long. And since your dog needs to run really fast in order to keep up with the speed of the bike, uh, you should not make it much longer. And just an interesting fact, the average speed of the best teams in bike touring races is between 34 and 37 kilometers per hour, which is crazy. And even though as a beginner, or if you do bike touring just recreationally, you won't be reaching those speeds, you still need to keep in mind that it's very, very easy to overwork your dog. And if that happens, your dog may start refusing to go biking with you altogether. And unfortunately, I've heard of plenty of such cases. So if you want to make your trips longer, you need to make more breaks, go slower, or let your dog off the leash. And that way, you'll make sure that your dog is comfortable and still enjoying it. number three think about hydration uh, it's best to hydrate your dog about two hours before you go biking and there are special powders that you dissolve in water and they also contain some important nutrients or you can just give your dog bone broth or mix meat with water but for us it's hard since rancho can't really hold down larger amounts of liquid so what I usually do is I hydrate him a bit before we go running, but I also usually give him a bit of water during our breaks.
Tip number four, make sure that the line is almost always stretched. Your dog is the one that sets the pace. And if you're going downhill, that means you need to use your brakes to keep the leash stretched so that your dog knows that you're not gonna run him over. And you should never pass your dog or even worse, to drag your dog behind you is very stressful for the dog. And if you do this in a race, you'll get disqualified. Number five, don't start getting serious with bike drawing until your dog is at least 18 months old. Show your dog that pulling is fun, but don't make them work hard before that age. You'll have plenty of time for that. You know, in the meantime, you can work on obedience. You can teach your dog some basic bike drawing commands like left, right, go, slow down, or leave it. And as I promised, this is what Rancho looks like after a bike touring session. Seems like it didn't tire him out at all, but don't be fooled, he just doesn't know when he's had enough. And he'll realize that he's tired in about half an hour and he'll just be dead asleep. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, you can give us a thumbs up. And if you like the content, you can subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time. <laughs>